Thanks for tuning in. I'm Bill from Fleetwood Digital. Today we're going to do an unboxing, show you a quick little demo of a product, and go over some features. So sit back and enjoy. The KG UV80 was one of Ocean's first radios in a long time that was genuinely a new model. Yes, there was the D1, the D1P, the 2D, the 3D, the 6D. They were typically minor firmware upgrades, some cosmetic changes, a new button here or there. The 8D though brought forth some good new features such as the large LCD screen, it had cross-band repeat, it also had dual receivers making it good for working satellites. So let's open up the box and see what we have inside. Inside the box you get your array of marketing materials, some Woshan QSL cards, owner's manual, along with the warranty card. Here we have the Woshan dual band antenna. And then you've got the actual body of the radio, along with FCC branding on the back. And these are also Industry Canada Amateur Compliant, so legal for use all across North America on the amateur bands. Battery-wise, the UV-8D comes with a 1700 milliamp battery. And attaching the battery onto the radio is quite simple. Onto the back, and it clicks into place. US style 110 volt power plug which plugs into the desktop charger wrist strap what I would call a premium belt clip this belt clip actually screws onto the radio itself it's not a little plastic clip so it's a good quality belt clip we got a couple screws for the belt clip as well one thing to take note is the antenna. This is what I call a, a Japanese style antenna connector as opposed to the traditional Chinese style. So this is going to be SMA female on the radio accepting an SMA male antenna. I'll go screw it on. Make sure it's nice and tight but not too tight. Turn it on. So programming the radio is quite simple by hand. You'll see the main indicator here letting us know which band we're on, either the A band or the B band. Pushing A and B puts it back and forth. Now let's go program in uh, one of our favorite repeaters here. So we just simply key in the receive frequency. And we got a bit of interference on the UHF band, so we're just going to just pop down here. We'll use the VFO encoder on the top. That looks good. Okay, now we'll go into our menu. And we'll just make sure the step is on 5K, it should be. Yeah, we're on 5K step, so we're good there. You can use the VFO encoder on the top to go through your menu. You can also use the push buttons on the bottom here. This particular repeater doesn't need a repeater tone, but if it did, menu option 16, which is transmit code, allows us to select a repeater tone. If we needed to use 103.5, for example, we just scroll to 103.5, push the menu button to save it. Repeater offset. We're going to need to set it to a 600 kilohertz offset for VHF. Menu will save that for us. 
We also need to set the repeater direction. In this case, we're going to need a minus. So when it's off, you're in simplex mode. And you have, of course, plus and minus. We need a minus offset. And from there, we should be good to go on our favorite repeater. Let's give it a try here. Victor Echo 7 India Kilo X-ray testing. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you can get more enjoyment out of your UV 8D, or hope this makes your purchasing decision easier on the KG UV 8D. Thanks for watching. <laughs>